So let's talk about the many origins of Black Manta. Black Manta made his debut in Aquaman number 35 in 1967. In a story called Between Two Dooms, Aquaman, Mira, Aqualad, and Aquababy have to stop Black Manta from trying to take over Atlantis by bringing a contaminant into the water that will take down the dome and allow him to conquer. Ocean Master gets involved and it becomes this huge fight. It'll be another 10 years before we found out Black Manta's identity. And I'm not even going to lie to you. Growing up, I had no idea that Black Manta was black. I mean, it was right there in the writing. They did the same thing with Black Lightning and other characters. But my whole introduction to the character was the Super Friends, and he never took off his helmet, so I didn't know until I was like in my 20s. We wouldn't get Black Manta's first origin until Aquaman number 6 in 1992. In this issue, we found out that he was actually from Baltimore, Maryland, my hometown, and he would jump into the Chesapeake Bay going through old ships looking for treasure. He's kidnapped by pirates and has to work for them for years, and the reason he hates Aquaman is because that he saw him once and was never saved. This origin was changed again in Aquaman number 8 about 10 years later, and in this story, we find out that Black Manta was actually a autistic orphan who hated the feel of anything but water. He's sent to Arkham Asylum and they cure him of his autism, but it leaves him a violent man. This is also where we got the origin of his original costume. His third origin happened during the New 52 reboot in 2011, which serves as the inspiration for his movie counterpart, with Aquaman and Manta killing each other's fathers. 